Welcome to Crosstalk Solutions. My name's Chris, and today we're going to be talking about a little open source project that allows you to secure the way that you transfer passwords to someone else. So, for instance, you never really want to send someone a password, like their root credentials to a server, or you know, the admin credentials to a Windows box, or something like that. You never really want to send that stuff through email because there's a paper trail. It's clear text and those emails are saved and who knows who's ever going to see that in the future. So one thing that you can do instead is use Password Pusher. So here we can see Password Pusher. This is at pwpush.com. This is a GitHub project by a gentleman named Peter Giacomo Lombardo out of Palermo, Sicily. And so Peter came up with this nice little open source project. You can use pwpush.com if you want, and I'm gonna show you how it works in just a second, but you can also self-host Password Pusher so that it's your own database and not some sort of centralized database. You know, obviously if you don't wanna trust pwpush.com. So the way that it works is you enter in your password. This is my super secure password. And now you have some options here. So you get a link that's going to expire and you can expire that link after X number of days or after X number of views. So we're gonna say we're gonna expire this password in two days or after the password has been seen two times. And it says down here, whichever comes first. You can also allow your password viewers to delete the password as soon as they've securely copied it down. If you wanna save these settings as default, it'll do a browser cookie and it'll save those settings for you, but otherwise you can just click push it. And now you get a link. So we can copy this link and it says this note won't be shown again. Don't believe me, go ahead and hit reload. So now it says, please obtain and securely store this password elsewhere, ideally in a password manager. This secret link will be deleted in two days or two more views, whichever occurs first. So let's bring up the link. So let's say I've sent this link to someone. This is what they're going to see. And it says your password is, and then notice that it's all obscured right here. Well, I can click it and that counts as one view. So now I can see the password that was sent to me. I can copy it to the clipboard. And then if I've got it, I can hit this button down here to delete the secret link. This will expire the secret link and remove the password from the database forever. Are you sure? Okay. And now that password is completely gone and I have securely transferred it to someone else. Now, as far as the project here, uh, I'll put the link to Password Pusher on GitHub down below, but they give you a whole bunch of different ways to host P uh, Password Pusher yourself. So you can do it on Heroku. Personally, I don't even know what Heroku is, <laughs> but it looks like it's pretty easy because there's just a button that says deploy to Heroku. I'm gonna have to make my, a note to look up what that is. You can also do it on Docker uh, using the built-in database, or you can use an external Postgres database if you don't want to use the built-in database. You can use Docker Compose, you can use Kubernetes, Microsoft Azure, OpenShift, or you can compile it from source. Once you've done any of those methods, you simply have to go to IP address colon 5000 and your password pusher is live. So let's do that now. We're gonna do this with Docker on DigitalOcean. Okay, so over in DigitalOcean, we're going to create our password push Docker server. Uh, basically, we're just creating a standard Docker server and then we're going to add password push as a Docker container on that server. This, of course, could be hosted on your own LAN. Like if you have a QNAP or Synology NAS that can do Docker or an internal server that can do Docker, that'll work just fine. The reason that I'm doing it in a hosted DigitalOcean server is so that anyone has access to it, right? And it's hosted in the cloud on DigitalOcean. I don't have to open up ports in my firewall for people to come in to use the password push service. So here we are in DigitalOcean. We're gonna say create droplet. We're gonna click on Marketplace and we're gonna choose Docker 19.03.12 on Ubuntu 20.04. We're gonna choose regular Intel with SSD at $5 a month. This particular application is not resource intensive whatsoever. Uh, so the lowest plan is gonna be perfectly fine for us. Scroll down further, I'm gonna choose San Francisco 3 as my data center. And then we're gonna do SSH key authentication with one of the SSH keys that I already have in place. 
Finally, we're going to give it a host name. We're just going to call it pwpush.whatever.com. I'm not actually going to create an A record for this particular uh, instance of password pusher because I'm planning on destroying this as soon as I'm done creating this video. Down at the bottom, we're just gonna click create droplet and we are off to the races. It takes about 30 seconds to spin up this uh, Ubuntu droplet with uh, Docker installed. Okay, so the droplet has been created. We can see that it is at 143, 158, 51.154. If you click on get started, it's gonna bring up a sidebar. One of the best things about DigitalOcean is their documentation. And so this is some of the documentation for, hey, how do you connect to this brand new server that you just created? And it tells you on the side. So this uh, one-click install configures Docker per the official Docker recommendations. And you can click on that to see what those are. Configures Docker Compose per the official Docker Compose recommendations. Once the Docker one-click droplet is installed, you can log into it as root. Make sure you substitute the droplet, droplet's public IPv4 address. And basically it goes on to say that uh, Docker should already be running. And then some additional information about the firewall settings for this particular one-click install. So since I already have my public-private key pair in PuTTY, we are going to connect using that public-private key, key pair. Uh, we're gonna put in the IP and click open. Of course, I selected the private key that I wanna connect with and we're gonna say yes, log in as root. And there we go, we have now logged into this server. So the first thing that we wanna do here is sudo apt update. And as a matter of fact, we're logged in as root. So actually you don't need to do sudo, you can just do apt update and and apt upgrade dash y. And then this is gonna run through and make sure that we are on the latest, greatest software for this container. I'm gonna let this run. It's probably gonna take about five minutes and then I will come back with the rest of the setup. Updates are complete. Let's go ahead and install password push. Now we're gonna go back to the GitHub page and then basically right here on Docker, we're gonna use this top Docker command here. Copy that, come back to our putty window, paste it and hit enter. Now it's gonna pull down all of the software that it needs and really that's about it. All right, installation is done. That took about 60 seconds and now we should be able to gra uh, grab our IP address, copy that, open up a new browser window and we're gonna enter our IP colon 5000 and hit enter. And there we go. So here is our very own self-hosted version of password pusher. Now. This is gonna work just fine, and this will allow you to securely send passwords that are deleted out of the, you know, that are encrypted in the database and then deleted out of that database as soon as the password expires after X number of days or X number of views. But one glaring problem here is that you'll notice we are connected with HTTP and not HTTPS, right? So it would be better if this was HTTPS, and of course that's possible, but it's gonna be beyond the scope of this video to set up HTTPS uh, for password pusher. It involves, you know, changing ports in the default web server on the, on the system and whatnot. So we're not gonna do any of that, but it is possible to do if you're actually gonna use something like this in production. I would also highly recommend if you guys know how to do this sort of development and put in HTTPS, make it real easy to get HTTPS, perhaps with Let's Encrypt, you know, ideally, uh, contribute to this project, right? So develop whatever you need to make that happen if you have that capability and give back to the community. That would be really, really awesome because I think this is, you know, just one guy who made this awesome application. He can't do absolutely everything because, you know, we all only have a certain amount of time available. So let's just verify that password pusher is working. We're gonna put in a super secret password here, and then we're gonna drop it down to say three days and three views, and we're gonna say push it. Copy the link, open up a new browser window, paste it in as if we had sent it to someone, and then your password is, we can click on it and now see that password. Copy it to our clipboard, put it somewhere safe, you know, like our password manager, ideally, and then we can just delete that secret link from the database. Okay, so there you have it. Real, real quick and easy open source project. You can have this one done in just about 15 minutes, uh, and it's a great little app. It's gonna be way, even, even without HTTPS, this is a way more secure way of sharing passwords with people than just sending them clear text in email or in a ticketing system or something like that. So. 
Hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you like this video, make sure you give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please click subscribe. My name's Chris with Crosstalk Solutions, and thank you so much for watching.